Om Shanti. Good morning, all of you. So yesterday, you all heard about the Murli of 14th Jan, 1980. And again, a powerful Murli related to how the spiritual commander is looking at his spiritual army. And as you know, in the Lokic army, they always try to assess the ever readiness of the army. Are they ready to confront the enemy? So similarly, Baba was seeing that I looked at the four subjects in the form of a clock. He said that the four subjects can be divided into four sections of the clock, looking at the face of the clock, Brahma Baba particularly, because he's eagerly awaiting the presence of all of us in the subtle world. And he said that all the four subjects, particularly knowledge and service are quite good enough, where children have around more than 75% or at least 75%. Yes, I'm so sorry. I don't know. For some reason, I got disconnected. So if you all just can make me co-host again. Yeah, I am already. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just finish off the what Baba was saying, that in the field of the service as well, he can only see 75%, uh, not attendance, but 75% of us, being ever ready in the form of knowledge and service, but not so much in the dharana and yoga, which we need to pay a lot of attention to. And the one word which he mentioned that which you should not be using, though you are that, you are householders, no, no doubt, but don't have it in the consciousness that you are a householder, you are a trustee. And the moment you become trustee, things become much more easier and the yoga and the dharana inculcation becomes easy. Then there were two groups in front of Baba. And these are the two professionals famous all over the world. The first being the medical wing doctors and the second being engineers, the scientists and engineers wing. Nowadays, recently we had a conference of the scientists and engineers. It is called scientists and engineers and architects, I think. So three things come together, SEA, scientists, engineers, and architects. So let's see what Baba has to say elaborately about doctors. So I'll just share the screen now. <clears throat> and pardon me, I don't know, for some reason, the internet connection is unstable. I may just go off suddenly, so just bear with me for that. So Avyak Babdada's sweet versions to the doctors. Baba says this is a group of double doctors. So just as doctors are specialists in their special subject in the same way, what special service have you spiritual doctors become instruments for? In the physical world, some are eye specialists, ophthalmologists, some are throat specialists as the ENT surgeons, ear, nose, throat. Some are just surgeons, general surgeons, and others simply prescribe medicine, which means physicians. I mean, I'm really amazed how Baba knows the intricacies of every profession. 
the ones who just prescribe are called physicians and the ones which who, who operate cut are uh, surgeons. So what are the specialities in becoming a spiritual doctor? So the most important one Baba says is to be able to cure someone's illnesses of their old sanskars in a second by giving them drishti with your eyes means to make them forget their illness for that time. So, so beautiful this one line that to be able to help someone to get rid of their old sanskars because having old sanskars is also an illness and he said that you all can do in a second by giving them drishti. So, be double doctors in that way. So, are you the doctors who have this specialty? Just as you can cure their eyes in the same way, just by giving them drishti, you should first be able to suppress and finish their old sanskars <clears throat> and then make them peaceful at that moment. Are you such specialist doctors? He's asking again and again. This is what it means to become an eye doctor who can cure everyone by just giving them Drishti. So it's Baba is directly correlating it beautifully with eye doctors that through your powerful Drishti can you cure them. Just as you can prescribe medicine to stop someone's pain for a short while, so too you should become an eye specialist who can make everyone well and content by giving them Drishti. And also by giving them Drishti, if someone is having pain, and now what sort of pain are we speaking about here? <clears throat> Not bodily or physical pain. We are speaking about the mental pain, the mental anguish which souls are having, the deep sorrow, the deep suffering, anxiety, stress, so on and so forth. So just by, we, by giving them drishti, are we able to relieve them of their mental pain as well? And here it reminds me that Baba has said that in the end, and the end has already begun, I'm sure all of you are very well aware of that, where now you can see the wars picking up in different parts of the world, and people are really in a lot of pain and suffering, mental I mean more than physical. And then Baba said that you all will become so busy that you all won't even have time to cook and time to eat. And then at that point of time, your yoga power would be so much that you won't even need to, maybe you just have a little bit of toli or something to eat and your, I mean, you will be quenched, your thirst would be quenched, you would feed full enough, so you won't have the time to cook and eat both. Because then they will be constantly knocking on your door, the centers would be busy all the time. They will just say, please give us some drishti. So it reminds me that and this not only applies to doctors, it applies to everyone who are single doctors, which means all of you. And this is being addressed to double doctors, but doesn't mean it's only for doctors. So you're not only the physical doctors, but are also spiritual doctors. And to be a spiritual eye specialist means to give them medicine through your spiritual vision. So beautifully explained. Then Baba comes to surgeons that how they operate, they cut the body. So just as surgeons can operate with the power of their instruments, beautiful, they have various surgical instruments. In the same way, you should be able to use the powers you have within you as your instruments to cure everyone's weaknesses. So wonderful. So our instruments for the mental operation are powers. And also when the word instrument baba says it's it reminds all of us that we are instruments of baba we are nimit baba's using us that way so we the instruments are being used by baba and when we are doing the operation baba is using us we in turn are using which instruments of ours the powers so beautiful so you would generally perform an operation using the instruments you have in your own operating theater you wouldn't use your patient's instruments. Wow. So Baba says that it is your own powers you have to use to make them empowered. You can't expect the patient to become powerful and ask and just tell them, oh, you use the power. They are, they are powerless. They don't even know what is a power. 
So in the same way, you should be able to cure their illnesses with the instrument of your powers. You should be able to make a lustful person free from lust and an angry person free from anger. And for this, you have to use the powerful instrument of tolerance. That is Sahin Shakti or Sahin Shilta. Are you doctors able to perform such an operation? So just as there are eye specialists and no specialists, in the same way, you can have different specialities here too. Which Baba says, no, Vishesh time. So Baba says you can use different, different specialities of yours. You can use knowledge as one speciality. You can use various virtues as your own specialities to perform such an operation. Or also use powers as your instruments for performing the operation. Any of you can claim whatever degree you want. And we also have our own degrees number-wise accordingly, right? Like the medical field has. However, the specialists who also become all-rounders become very famous. So we have to become famous, Mahima Yogya. You doctors can do a lot of service. And how is that? When your patients first come to you, they are completely beggars. And how, in what way they are beggars? Because they fully surrender to us. Means they tell you that, oh, doctor, please take care of my body. I'm not feeling well. I have pain, so on and so forth. Even if the medicine a doctor prescribed for the patient was wrong, or even it was just water, this is what we call the placebo effect. The patient would still recover because of his faith in the doctor. As it said that faith can move mountains. And now it doesn't literally mean that you can move a mountain, but it really means that you can do perform very big tasks, tasks which were supposed to be impossible, but with faith it becomes possible. So same thing, if I give a sugar pill to a patient who's got severe headache, that sugar pill is not a painkiller though, but he will really have benefit or effect if he's got faith in the doctor. And they are cured with the nourishment of happiness. This remind me that the avyak signals which we are doing this month are full of happiness. Khushnuma bano khushnaseeb. Today is 31st May. It will be the last. And from tomorrow onwards it will be karam yogi. How to become a karam yogi. So really the nourishment of happiness is basically the dawa, the medicine for every illness Baba says. And today I remember in the Sakar Murli also Baba says that uh, even if you are dying, literally, even if you are dying, you should not let go of your happiness. So they aren't cured with medicine, but with happiness indeed. They come to you doctors as beggars and ask you to stop their pain for even a short time. And no matter what you tell them at that time, they are ready to listen to you fully, right? Just as you are able to give them an injection and make them totally unconscious in a second so that they feel no pain. So you should also be able to give them the injection of knowledge with which they would become totally unconscious and forget their old sanskars. So Gyan ka injection Baba keeps saying na lagao and make them totally unconscious, which means in a good way, make them totally forget their old sanskars. Each of you have this injection, don't you? Those who are first able give an injection to themselves and forget their own sanskars. So again here charity begins at home. Let us first, before becoming serviceable souls, become serviceable for the self. Let me first give an injection to myself to forget my own old sanskars. And then be able to give injections to others and cure them on the basis of their own experience. So you double doctors should have some speciality. When anyone comes now, they will be sent to you. So Baba is preparing the BK doctors for all this service. They should not go back just like that. You are being given a very good chance to make progress in service. And you doctors can create many subjects in just one day. Like just with a click of a finger, you can just create so many subjects of yours. Every day ready-made subjects come to you. You don't have to go looking for them. That's another 
advantage which we have as doctors that people come to us. We really don't have to go out. And Baba also, I remember in one of the Avyak Murli said that you should have your visiting card. On one side, you have your Lokic degrees, your name and all those other things, the accolades which you have achieved, your timings of the clinic, so on and so forth. On the next side, you have Shiv Babas. You should have the Brahma Kumari Center, the nearest center to you and Baba's uh, logo on that. So Baba inspires <clears throat> doctors to have such visiting cards. Ready-made subjects come to us in just one day. Otherwise, you would have to spend so much money to hold fairs and exhibitions. However, for you, it's very easy. Once you form a relationship with them, you can then even make them become Baba's children. I remember like, I always write it down at the end. And Baba said that write down meditation. If doctors write meditation, they will do it. And I really remember having referred many patients to the center. I don't know how many of them really turn up. But I mean, at least we need to do what Baba is saying. Of course, some will say that this is very good and then they go away. However, at the end when there will be upheaval, they will want this and come back to you because of that powerful realization. So somehow or the other Baba says, Beej Dalo, sow the seed of this knowledge in them by giving them this bhoo, bhoo. I mean, do this bhoo, bhoo like a bumblebee. Do this, tell them something so it goes in their ears. And then further, it's their journey. When that seed wants to sort of um, erupt and become a tree or come into a sapling that's everyone's own journey but they will eventually come in the end when there'll be upheaval and they'll have this powerful realization oh that yes the doctor told me but i disregarded what he or she said therefore continue to serve them <clears throat> they'll definitely believe you to be their special deity yes they will feel that and if nothing else at least they'll become your devotees if at the end they say that you give them a very good message, that you are a messenger, even if they think this much, they become your devotees. So, Bhagat ban jayenge aapke, if not Praja. Hmm? That's what always Baba says, that either create subjects or Bhagats. So, if not subjects who come in the golden age, at least they become your Bhagats. So, last stages of devotees, and that too is needed. Those who come here now, come after taking the seven days course, but very few of them continue this on the basis of their own courage, because these are part of the last harvest, which means, you know, uh, Baba is explaining you in the form of uh, <clears throat> the harvest season. So when they have the last harvest, so these are the last ones, the last ones to be prepared would be the easier ones, the devotees. It takes a little bit of effort to become a subject who comes in the golden age, but becoming devotees doesn't need a lot of effort. And why is that? Because this Baba is saying that the last harvest doesn't have as much strength as the earlier ones do. Therefore, it's now time to use your own powers to help the souls that come here now to progress. Compared to you, the souls that come now are too late because they belong to the last harvest. But again, from the last, so fast, so first, we know that slogan as well. But in this context, these are not the ones who are the first ones who will become first. They are the ones who come in the last and remain in the last. But again, Baba still has so much of good wishes and pure feelings for those souls as well. Therefore, give them some of your own enthusiasm and help them to progress. You have to become great donors and bestowers of blessings. Great donors means Mahadani and bestowers of blessings means Vardani. Because they cannot move forward by themselves and therefore now invent such a powerful instrument with which they can have an experience within a second. Increase the number of your equals, which means Aap Saman Banao, make themselves, make them equal to yourself. Prepare such an injection that as soon as you inject them, they become unconscious, that they become unconscious to that world and come to this world. So they forget the old world, the old sanskars and come on to the new world and new sanskars. It reminds me of the Murli of Sunday. 
the new year murli 31st december 99 where baba said your chehra chal chalan which means your face your character your behavior your actions all that should be like a like an angel and that's and baba said everything new in the new year so let them come to this world from the old world and you now have to prepare such an injection we shall see how much your numbers increase this year and at least your equals should not complain that they weren't told of this they would even complain and say that although they didn't wake up by themselves it was your duty to wake them up it reminds me of like a few doctors who when i interact with they had been to bks before but unfortunately some doubt because they don't have that full faith and what was the point of doubt i asked that person so that doctor told me uh, even he was a nephrologist i mean i being a pediatric nephrologist specializing in kidney problems in children i was attending a, a nephrology conference where i met one of these doctors and i had that button batch on my shirt so he said oh you are into brahma kumaris i said yeah what happened so he said oh tum bhi phas gaya which means you are also caught in them and i said what makes you say that so he said that oh they mix up everything the knowledge and he was a south indian with due respect to south indians here as well but it's not about why i'm telling you that he's from south because he was a strong he was from andhra i think that time it was hyderabad telangana but now it's separate we know that so he was from hyderabad and he said that they just mix everything and they say uh, shiva is different shankar is different how can it be possible we say shiv shankar so i said okay if you can ignore this one point don't you otherwise like meditation what they teach you he said yeah yeah i love the meditation but i can't do because the moment i sit to meditate and think of shiv baba my attention or attraction goes to shankar as well so then i said like i didn't tell him this but i was i said myself inside i was like reminiscing that like it's so unfortunate that this soul is probably not one of the deity kingdom souls because uh, this soul is just not able to have full faith in baba and again and again when he sits to remember shiv baba his, his attention goes towards shankar so probably he's just a devotee soul with due respect to him again he will directly come in the copper age he won't be coming in the first two ages so therefore it reminded me that i am so lucky similarly all of us are so lucky and probably a part not probably it is indeed that path of devotion we have really finished and now we are on the path of knowledge so here we go that uh, baba says that they will otherwise complain in the end that the your equals your aap saman that your colleagues your companions your contemporaries that they'll complain that you never told of this so therefore at least do some bhum bhum give something to them they would even complain and say that although they didn't wake up by themselves it was your duty to at least wake them up and then whether they want to go and sleep in deep slumber that's their lookout but at least wake them up how you can do that if you can send them an invitation or a leaflet only once how could they just wake up with just that one invitation if you just shout out once to awaken someone who's sleeping in the sleep of deep kumbhakarna sleep how would they awaken and this is why you have to awaken them repeatedly so om shanti so uh, tomorrow we'll read uh, what baba has to say to the engineers so this is all about today's murli so i'll just stop sharing the screen and then we'll take your sharings thank you
If you can start sharing. Uh, okay. So, um, Baba would like to see us becoming great donors and rest of our blessings. So here, uh, Baba would like uh, the doctors. Um, of course, we are also doctors, single doctors. Yeah, do a service where uh, they can uh, help uh, the patients, you know, when they come uh uh, right, their uh, weaknesses, their uh, 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 vices um, to be removed. So Baba says, use your instruments uh, to cut off all the uh, um, all their weaknesses and free them from any sort of a lust or any anchor, anchor or anything that they have. So uh, this is kind of a uh, mercy or uh, we are uh, becoming a great donor here Mahadani and Varadani and Baba also um, highlighted that doctors uh, can create so many subjects, ready-made subjects uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and while Baba is talking today about doctors, he very specifically mentioned about an eye doctor. While well, reflecting on that entire conversation with the eye doctor or for the eye doctor, was how an eye doctor supports in clearing the vision with whatever kind of eye disease that one may have, right? maybe a cataract or maybe some kind of haziness. Baba says you need to become a spiritual eye doctor. So, what I was getting was when we go to the center and when we take Krishti from the sisters, there's a different kind of power that builds in within. So that's the city that Baba is talking about for each one of us to gather so that we can become spiritual eye doctor for anybody who we, we are seeing. So Krishti becomes spiritual. And uh, just one more thing. Uh, Baba mentioned towards the end that the the uh, the people that are coming nowadays are uh, compared to the first group they are weak. So um, the last crop, uh, the last um, the harvest, right? So they are um, though they have come late. Um, and uh, the their stage, I, I guess uh, that is uh, compared to the first group, they are weak. So I think which means going forward, this is uh, this will keep uh, uh, gr growing, right? Because the world is becoming more and more tamupradan. So people are becoming impatient, um, more and more. 
and uh, not having enough patients to uh, sit and take the seven days course. Some people want it in one day. They are uh, unable to give time or they are unable to sit. Or some people coming just taking the course and going. So, uh, uh, which means the, the power is less. Even to take uh, the seven days course peacefully, that also requires some amount of power to sit tight and listen to the class and experience Baba. So, which is actually true. We, uh, we notice this in so many places. So Baba highlighted that here in this. The strength is, yeah, the strength is less. Option. Yeah, so again, uh, Sister Usha was mentioning here. Uh, sorry, I'll just take this before Sister Girija shares. So Sister Usha is mentioning in the chat box that had a question that Baba says in Murli, even a little bit of knowledge, one can become a subject and need clarification of what this little knowledge means. So little knowledge doesn't mean a small amount of knowledge. Knowledge is knowledge. It's an Atha Sagar. It's an immense uh, ocean-like thing. It's just about uh, the faith of that soul and the effort making in all the four subjects is not as good as of like becoming a Raja, becoming uh, you becoming the you know the what we call full swarajya adhikari so that way these souls who will come as also bhajit bhai was referring to these ones who come in the end or even the ones who just come and attend fairs and exhibitions and they just have a glance they like the knowledge then they come on and off and they identify with the knowledge at least not like the doctor who i gave you the example of who didn't have full faith in the knowledge as well so they have full faith in the knowledge but their effort making is not as good as that of having like a king or even a royal subject. So that is the thing. So you can carry on, Sister Girija. Thanks. Oh, Shanti, brother. I like the, the way, you know, especially for people who are really doctors. Now, a kind of, maybe in that group there was uh, a number of doctors over there, the way Baba really links that profession and uh, shows them the way and asks them, are you first when he asks double doctors? Okay, here he means he's talking about specialists. I'm not just a doctor. Maybe I'm an eye doctor. Maybe I'm a pediatric. But maybe I'm for a special thing. So am I able to use that speciality of a double doctor? So as Baba has given an example for an eye doctor, he says, when you are really treating that person's eye, are you able to give that spiritual kind of drishti, like a spiritual eye specialist? I like that point. I also like the point when Baba speaks in the operation theater, you go there with your instruments, even though you're dealing with the patients. You don't go with the patient's instruments. You have got your own instruments and you're going to really treat that person with that. It was this point, brother, like I, I what I'm just going to ask you is not a question like uh, what generally some of the seniors or some of the people who are, are very much in Gyan have. See, there are two things in the Murli which I need a little clarification. One is when Baba spoke about that last crop of the harvest. Okay, Baba never said that this last crop aren't going to come at all. He said they don't have so much strength. So now you, even though they are the last crop, you with your own power, say I'm a double doctor, you with your own power should become donors and bestowers and lift them and make them move forward by themselves. For that, he said, create a powerful instrument. Because who am I to say that this soul is a last soul? Oh, that was one thing. 
Secondly, when you were sharing about an experience, because I've come across this with many, like Baba is often mentioned in his Murlis, the devotee souls are the most ones are the ones who really take up the gyan and who are really those emotional support. So even, and that was one thing, and Baba always mentions in the Murli, who are you to say that this person cannot change, that this person will not come? Even that thought one should not have, like what Baba mentions. So I know that the soul has, hasn't fulfilled, hasn't that, but I do, I think even in, I, it's just, as I told you, an opinion of mine that no soul could be written off to say, no, that soul would not come, that this will not happen. I feel I will just keep giving, keep giving, keep giving. Whether it comes or not, the one to write that person's report is Baba. I, I just thought uh, this is what I felt uh, when after you were sharing experience because I've come across many of these devotees and all. And I have all, by my father himself was one. He was a great Gayatri Japa. But I have never even uh, felt, uh, told him that he, he will never come and all. So what do you think? Uh, like Because we are still going to face these ocean of devotees. I don't know. I just felt... Uh, I just wanted to share this part, these two things, uh, based on what Baba used to say, Om Shanti. Yeah, so thank you for your question. So first of all, to clarify that I never said that I'm writing off anyone's destiny. All of us have to write down our own destiny. We have to work on our own self. We can never judge what others are going through, what they will become. It's really uh, very judgmental to pass such judgment and be so prejudiced about such people. So I never said that. The second thing which I want to say, I said it in the context here, that you can realize that a soul who is, say, for example, a devotee soul and is just not able to come out of that such deep sanskar of, for example, that Shiva and Shankar, then the yoga which that soul is accumulating with Baba is not the perfect yoga, the accurate yoga, and that doesn't help in absolving the sins. So I don't know where, where the soul is coming. And only obviously, as you rightly said, it's Baba who decides the destiny. And even Baba doesn't decide. Each soul decides their own destiny, depending on their own effort. So in future, obviously, we'll have many souls coming. And as I think it refers here to Bijit Bhai also, he said that souls won't have so much of power. They'll be powerless. And as Baba also said, that you use your own instruments in the operating theater. Similarly here, you use your own powers. And for example, if someone speaks about Mansa Seva, Mansa Seva is easier said than done. It's you need a state of mind which needs to be absolutely so stable with no trace of thought, any thought of being that this one is not good or this one is like that. Even if I have this thought that why is this soul doing that? Questions, doubts uh, for people being judgmental, all that shows that I'm not in a stable state of mind and I can't do Mansa Seva. So, obviously, we are seeing such time when people will be coming, it has already started, and we see that souls come to us, they just say, please give us your drishti, and then we tell them, okay, we gave you drishti, now go and sit in the meditation room, but they go and sit, but then say that my mind is still wandering, I'm not able to concentrate, so on and so forth. So, it's everyone's effort in each of these four subjects, and people decide their own destiny. I need to work on my own self to create my own destiny and I have to check myself, check and change all the time that where am I in my effort making since the, I have started my journey of becoming a BK and becoming Babas. So it's just for self. So I hope this clears the doubt now or clears the comment which I made. We can't comment on anyone. It's just for ourselves. We can change ourselves. Okay, so I think it's 5.40 and let's move on to the meditation mode. Again, I think it's good to remain in silence rather than give yeah. you all some commentary. So, um, yeah. Yeah, well, you can also deploy yeah. start meditation and just uh, share the screen. This Sunday, um, we have a 
Muslim, not Muslim, then special class um, from BK Sister Deepa. Um, the topic is uh, the art of uh, art, awareness, realization, and transformation. So, request all um, divine family to join. This flyer will be sent in the WhatsApp group so you can share it with other members and uh, have them attend and benefit. Yeah. Thank you, Manoj. Bye back to you. Yeah, so I'll just share some meditation music and As we sit back, let's reflect on today's Murli about how we, the spiritual army and Baba, the spiritual commander, what he wants us to do. And consider yourself to be that single eye doctor, the spiritual eye doctor. Granting spiritual vision to all the souls in pain and suffering. Thank you, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you to Baba. Thank you, Manoj Bhai. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a blissful day.